All right, guys, let's see if we can get an update done real quick before everything happens. All right, let's start down here and be quiet down here. These two mamas had babies last night. This is another good experience uh, experiment that I'm trying to figure out. All right, now this one I knew when you breed two pure rabbits together, you get pretty small litters. If you breed just like dogs, if you breed two dogs too much together, you're going to get more babies. I brought her to Gus before he left. Gus, Gus, my mini rex buck. Okay, she had 13. One, um, I could tell she'd had it too close to where she jumps in. I think she crushed it. So one was dead or dying when I found him this morning. So she had 12. This one over here had seven, but three of them weren't formed all the way, just like last time. Um, and so now I bred in the last litters, I bred them both to their dad. This litter, I bred her back to her dad. This one to a different buck. In the last litter, and so I would say, well, maybe it's because I'm breeding two inline breeding, bringing her back to her dad. Maybe I'm just getting too close, uh, even though I'm not because the moms weren't related, and so they don't have that much blood in them. That's another story altogether. But um, And so I wasn't worried about that, but I would be. But this is her full sister, and she bred to her dad, had nine healthy babies, Okay. So all I can think of is it something to do with that broken. Uh, since I'm pulling, I'm pulling that broken gene. That has something to do with that, and I really don't know. I'm kind of kind of learning as I go. She had seven. Three were uninformed all the way. Four of them were healthy. So I'm guessing she had four from one side of her ovaries and three from the other side, and that three side just hadn't formed uh, correctly. Uh, but anywho, no big deal. I gave her three of these, and so she has seven. She has nine. Hopefully, I have another doe that I can give a couple more of hers to. But as of right now, she has seven. She has nine. The young does. Growing big. Eating the hay from the other side. I'll give them some in a minute. Hay's hard to come by around here. Uh, none of the feed stores have any more. They had some about a month ago when it was $12 a bale. And it lasted for a semi load, lasted for about three weeks, and it was gone. So now I'm getting this off the floor of the feed store. He's letting me, or off the, he puts it in a warehouse. So he's letting me go through and sweep it up off the floor, which is fine for rabbits. But those does are doing good. All right, here's Stars Baby. These guys are weaned, got four left. Uh, their mama is at a friend's house getting bred to Rusty, my other red stag, my other red stag, my other red buck that is at her house. And she just texted me and said he bred. They bred good. So her, their mama is bred again to Rusty, uh, different than this one. These were bred to big. Th the daddy of these is big red, but I want some different, a different line. All right. Um, I don't think y'all have seen new mama. Her name's Thumper. Maybe I have because I remember doing a video. But this is her. Uh, yeah, I did because I said her face. All right, move back, move back. This is her. She's almost all white. But this is what I was talking about. Can you see her nose? It's just skinned up. Not like cut skinned up, just the hair's off. And that's from rubbing in a food bowl. And they usually do that when they're in heat. Uh, and I've had some do it when they false labor at two weeks because they'll dig in their food bowl because they don't have a box. And it'll make it come off. She's a really pretty doe. And she's real, real, a lot calmer than I thought she was going to be. Hasn't been messed with all that much. As, as an older doe, she was as a baby when I was an older doe. She's going to be perfect. Can't wait. She's just like her mom or her grandma. I got some vegetables for him. These little guys are getting big and spoiled. Remember, she only had four, so they are as healthy as can be. Um, two blacks, two browns. Okay. Like that, Selena got a box yesterday. I'm not sure if she's bred yet. Uh, she's back-to-back -back litter, so if she skipped, I wouldn't be upset. But I'm pretty sure they have their bread, so we'll just see. Play by ear. Here's Zoe with her babies. Yeah, and I am impressed. Most of these got the Rex fur. I think all but this one right here. You like how you know what are, what one that's not Rex fur? Look at this one's fur. Look how fluffy it is. That's not the Rex fur. All these have the Rex fur. Which is really good. I think five out of the six have Rex fur. Four out of the six have Rex fur. So that's really nice. But she's half Rex, and the dad was four Rex. So the babies are three quarter Rex, but still usually don't get that much. All right, this is Moon. She just laid up, bred her a couple days ago. She's just gonna eat and sleep. That's all she has to do now: is eat and sleep. Little Red, 
lazy as always over it. <laughs> Okay, here, TC. All right, here's a little mini rex babies. I turned over their nest box today. They're about two and a half weeks, so oh, almost three weeks. It's hot here, guys. It's 81 the last couple of days. Um, it's hot, so I'd let them out so they could get on the cage and cool off. But one caster. Two torts and four reds. Now this is what I'd call a generic litter. Beautiful babies, healthy and everything, but too much of the same color. If somebody were to come out here and look at these, they'd go, oh, because they're just not not different enough. That's why I like brokens in them. But I broke it a little red because I didn't have rest uh gus at the time. Here's Belle. Remember she was on the other side last time. She is bred. Look at that little belly on her. That's what I'm telling. I love this rabbit. I I really do. She is. I'm keeping dog. Look at that big old gut on her. She's keeping. She'll have six or seven, and she just weaned six or seven four weeks ago. But uh, she's doing great. Doing really good. Proud of her. The little girl that I'm keeping at a Lily. She is a sweetheart. Her color is a black tri, but she's a meat rabbit. Or I'd say a crossover rabbit. She'll have, they can be pets or meat. Here's uh, Lizzie. She has four mini Rex babies, and I fostered three of flags of uh, Red New Zealand's, and you can tell the difference. That's a Red New Zealand. Let me find one that, that that's a, that's a um, mini Rex. Look at the dark difference. Those are dark. There's another dark, and then the other darks down there. But she has seven. She's raising three for the Red New Zealand. Uh, flag had 11. So I fostered some to her since she had a small litter this time. She had four. All right. Big Red. Here's the new one. This is Moon's little boy. She has three bucks left. Um, we'll see. Uh, they'll probably sell when they get older. I'm going to keep them for a while. I have plans for them if they don't sell but that'll be a future video here's my new pedigreed mini rex buck come here little man I haven't even named him yet come here he's four months old paper should be in the mail tomorrow that's big red sneezing over there i gave him hay today and he's allergic to hay my last two bucks have been allergic to hay but he's tattooed and everything already but that'll be the new herd sire the he He's the one I'll breed all my tri red tries over there too. That I'm raising up. Um, him and little red. Here's my next pin that I'm taking to a buyer. Here's 17 in here. Mini Rex, mainly Mini Rex and Mini Rex, Mini Rex New Zealand Cross, but mainly Mini Rex and some uh, um, Dutch Cross. But yeah, and. People, uh, I think I went too far. Let me make another video, guys.